The survey report makes very clear that uh, universities are focused on incentivizing and rewarding a small number of academic activities. The most important activities are uh, publishing research, which is important for 90% of institutions, and attracting external research funding, which is important for 81%. And the report does go on to say that there is a wide range of other activities that are also being acknowledged. But in terms of evaluating research careers, the focus is very clearly on publishing research and attracting external funding. Universities mainly use two ways to evaluate research careers. Uh, the most important ways to evaluate careers are publication metrics, which are important for 82% of universities, and uh, peer review, which is important for 74% of universities. And in this regard, the report highlights that of the universities that use publication metrics, 75% use the journal impact factor. And that's an issue because EUA has been quite clear that publications should be evaluated based on uh, the quality of the research itself and not the venue where it is published. So the use of journal impact factor shows us that more work needs to be done to improve the use of publication metrics. Right now, activities related to open science and open access are not a big part of research assessment at universities. It's only 38% of universities that tell us that these types of activities are either important or very important for their approach to evaluating research careers, which is the lowest number we found in the survey. And at the same time, 36% tells us that these types of activities are in fact unimportant or of little importance in their approach to evaluating research careers. Well, we see that the research and innovation landscape in Europe is changing, and we believe that research assessment needs to evolve to reflect those changes. The best example I can give you is the momentum we see to make research openly available. Last year, in 2018, 62% of universities told us that they already have an open access policy for publications in place. Uh, and that's very encouraging. But right now, the challenge is to bring researchers on board with that transition. And that will need to happen through translating those policies into the incentive and reward structure for research careers. The report recommends a broad dialogue and a partnership approach between the different stakeholders. And the report bases that recommendation on universities telling us that they do feel highly autonomous in developing and implementing their own approach to research assessment. But at the same time, they're also very keenly aware of external influences. This can be governments, research funding organizations, or just in general, the competitive environment in research and innovation. All of that has an influence. And as such, the report recommends that if we move forward, we need to invest in a broad dialogue and a real partnership approach between these stakeholders.